a simple jig for cutting wide dados with a handheld router. So how simple is this, folks? I, I mean, I started off with uh, MDF, uh, 3 8 inch uh, thick, and I cut two pieces 32 inches wide and 10 inches in depth. Uh, I then took two very straight pieces of red oak that when I pushed them together there was no gap and when I put a level on them and checked them for flatness uh, I had no gaps and I do that by shining a flashlight in the back. Uh, so, so I was happy with these two pieces. Uh, the bottom side had not been polyurethane so I was able to glue that to these surfaces. So I glued these as perpendicular as I could. Uh, that's not overly critical. I then used the router, the handheld router, to just run along these rails on each of these two separate pieces and that would of course cut off the perfect width for that router with that bit. Now it's only usable as a jig for that router base with that bit for these rails to be the perfect distance. So mark your jig so you know what your setup is. If you throw a half inch bit in what's supposed to be a 3 8 inch uh, setup then you're going to get it, your things are not going to line up. All right you can see the next piece just a 3 quarter inch plywood 10 inches long cut a slot in each of the two of them so that you can put a T-bolt through them and then use some wing nuts to secure them. Secure one end with uh, screws and I countersunk those. Uh, make this as 90 degrees as you possibly can so that you know you've got 90 degrees here and then uh, that will give you a very nice alignment of all of these edges. You simply then uh, adjust it to the width of the dado that you want. Normally you would take a, a workpiece and uh, fix this down on a line and then put a workpiece in there, push it together, tighten it up so it's the perfect size. I actually purposely uh, undercut mine so that I can sneak up to uh, my workpiece width uh, so that things will fit very snugly. This does not require a router with bushings on it. I will give you a link to a video below if you want to do a build like this but one that uses uh, bushings on your router. And I hope you find that helpful. Small Workshop Guy, signing out.